The tapeworm genomes were sequenced using di several different techniques, 454 and Illumina, and some uh, shotgun sequencing as well. They were assembled using Nubler or Velvet. And then we went through a stage of bioinformatic assembly improvement where we are closing the gaps and scaffolding everything together. We used several tools which were actually developed at the Parasite Genomics Group at Sanger Institute, such as Image and Icon. Then we went through a stage of manual improvement where we checked errors and joined things that should be joined together and made large scale scaffolding using an optical map. Finally we did gene finding and annotation and we disseminated the genomes through GeneDB and GenBank. So GeneDB is a web page um, and a server which is uh, maintained by the Parasite Genomics Group and this is where most of our recent genomes are published and updated every 24 hours. So the final genome, the best one is of a Kynococcus multilocularis, for which, as you can see, the statistics are strikingly similar to the genome of C. elegans. More than 90% of the genome is in nine contigs, which also happen to be the number of chromosomes they have. And this is what it looks like. So as you can see, there are only very few gaps remaining in the sequence and we've managed to find more than half of all the telomeres as well for these chromosomes. So this means that the multilocularis genome is uh, truly a, a model organism or a model genome even compared to all other animal genomes that have been published so far.